He needs to get a new piece of ASS and move on. And yes, she is a bitch. B-I-C-T-H. And in that order. Hmm. My name is Erica. I'm a single mother and I've been dating the rapper Lil Scrappy on and off for about 10 years. And we have a gorgeous six-year-old daughter named Imani. My name Lil Scrappy. I'm the Prince of the South. Born and raised, probably gonna die in the A. You know what I'm saying? When we first met, Scrappy wasn't a household name. But in 2006, he met with Lil John, did his first album, and things took off from there. Come on. You know the story. You hold a man down, his career takes off, and he's on to the next chick. The new girl happened to be an Atlanta rapper named Diamond. The affair was public, and it hurt me. But the tables turned when Diamond had a public relationship with Soldier Boy, and Scrappy came limping home to me. We're trying to move forward with our relationship. I just don't know if I'm all in the relationship right now. Who is it? Me. Wow. I'm Mama D. I'm the mother of the famous rap star Little Scrappy. I'm a type of mother that I'm very loving, caring, and sharing, but overprotective. That's how it is, and it's gonna always be that way, and in that order. Not really finished with it yet, and the amenities are not even in, and I don't uh, gave them a stack. I said, what y'all got? Crack smokers working for y'all? What are they doing with it? They, they sand this down, and then they put shellac it over it, uh, and it ain't done. Like, I just feel like a motherfucker bent me the over, me like no goddamn grease. How the f you gonna pimp a pimp? Tell you about my mama. It pop off, she just pop off. She don't think about it, she just go. She trained to go, TTG. When is the date for them to have everything ready? He talking about tomorrow, but you see that's not true. So it's well, let's just wait till tomorrow. If he don't do wow. it tomorrow, then we go holler at him. And in that order. She got this thing with the whole world against her. Like, she's still in her pimpish ways because she used to pimp and sell dope back in the day. I had to become very hardcore because I had two small kids that depended on mama to see them through. And that's what I did. Remember that conversation I said I was going to have with Earl? Yeah. I had that the other day. What? I told her I do love her, I do love Imani, you know, and I'm trying to, you know, make that work, but it's like a lot of irritating stuff she do. She wants a family unit, and I can't blame her on that part. She had a mother that didn't raise her that was on crack cocaine, so people in life try to go after things that they were denied or didn't have when they were growing up, but she can't make you give that to her. Sexy, gorgeous, what's happening? I miss you too. <laughs> what's happening? Yeah. Shay is my best friend. She's one of them best friends you have to look at. You be like, damn, you feel me? Like, whew. She always telling me, you know, the real. So I'm gonna holler about this Stevie J character. See what she thinks. So what's been up? Got some situations that occurred and I have to jump on it right then because you don't jump on it right then, you feel me? What? Everything go haywire. Everybody feel like they can do it. <laughs> Everybody want to put their hand up to jump up. I mean, what you talking about specifically? This fool named Stevie J, cuz baby mama. What'd he say? All I know is he said the B word a couple times. Oh, OK. Even if he don't know, you just Cuz that's come your baby mama, but not your girlfriend. Right. But you sticking up for her, cuz that's your baby mama. Dig that. 
You may know me as Bucky from Flavor of Love 2 and Charm School, but I want you to call me Shay Johnson. I became close friends with Scrappy about four or five years ago in Miami, and we've been supporting each other like ever since. And I don't really think sticking up for Erica is the best idea if he's trying to move on. You think she gonna feel like y'all got something more than what it is because you sticking up for her like this, or this just? I don't care if she told me F you three times a day and told me she hope I die. Somebody mess with her, I'm gonna go over there and handle the business in a good way. Same thing with me, too? Oh, definitely. Well, I but wouldn't see, you call, don't call I, would, I wouldn't call you for you that. Don't call me <laughs> I'm not call It's two weeks <laughs> in the game. <laughs> oh, it ain't happened. two weeks, boo-boo. That happened in They like... two with add some numbers onto that. <laughs> I ain't gonna need to lie about it. Try to keep it on the DL, man. Try to let this grease settle down with me and Erica, man. You know what I'm saying? But me and Shawty, me and Shay, we done came a little bit more than friends. I ain't trying to go there yet, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't trying to just jump in nothing yet, but damn, she sexy, man. You feel me? You're not going to do nothing crazy? I'm not going to do nothing crazy as long as you don't touch me, you feel me? I don't know about to touch just me. Just touch, hit you, don't touch, touch you. Me. OK. I don't, I don't think nobody's going to touch me, you. Man, I'm gonna, you feel me? Just be careful. I'm going to be cool. Be careful. I'm going to go crazy if something happens to you. Put some of this on me, please. Really? <laughs> you know you want to. What you mean? What you mean, what I mean? <laughs> Don't go crazy. Stop. Jump is a jump. Stop it. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. Don't do all you that. You needed it everywhere. You did? I needed just on my back and my legs. That's and it. your leg? And my leg. I was trying to do the You leg. was going on Ooh, my yeah. ass. You wasn't on, on my leg. leg. I'm on the leg. Let's go in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the leg. On. I want to see. On the leg. Mama, baby. Hey, Yesterday, my son had a real bad asthma attack, and when I got to the hospital, he was doing better, but he kind of didn't seem right from the heart. So I thought I'll go over today and check on him and get some clarity about how he's really feeling. Yesterday was a big scare. It scared yeah, it me to death. crazy, man. Just got real drunk, and I woke up just I can't breathe for nothing, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking the pump and I'm squeezing it, but it ain't doing nothing. Erica is knocked all the way out. So I'm saying, hey, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. She getting up, she talking to her work people. She on her way out the door, I'm like, yo, you know what I'm saying? And she like, hey, she come in, she calling her out, telling him to come, you know, take me to the hospital. He shoots me down now. This is like, I feel the rush, you know, like yeah. the- No oxygen's going yeah, to your brain. Like, she want me to do something, I do it when it's up to her and I need her to do something. She put work first. Me and Erica, we got together, try to do this thing over again, try to make it work for the baby, you feel me? But at the end of the day, you know, I'm having an asthma attack, feeling a dog on there die. If the affection is there and the love is there, then she gonna be there, you feel me? But she called out to her job. How would you handle it? Like, your baby daddy, your ex, husband, <coughs> excuse me, your, <coughs> your ex-husband, oh whoever. Would you tell somebody else, his homeboy, to do it? Your father, you know, even though we're not together, but I'd have stayed right there and I wouldn't have left him until the doctor said he was feeling better. Because when you love a man, you don't leave his side. Clearly she's disconnected and you have some decisions to make, son, and I suggest you get to it. I raised you to be a strong black man. I, I suggest made you my do decision. that. Okay. I, I just understand it probably ain't the right thing to do. It's it just ain't like, for you. It's like telling me in my face, it ain't yeah. it, it ain't it, it ain't it, it ain't it. You know, I got your back, I believe in you, so. Appreciate you for coming, though. Love you, mama always be there, always. Yeah, yeah. Make oh, my you know, mama make my. It's crazy. She ain't seen me since I've been in the hospital for my asthma attack. She was definitely there for me. I mean, she hit my phone up a hundred times, and then she came through when I allowed her to. I missed you. I miss you too. 
You gotta be more careful, like straight up. That's serious. You could die from something like that. Yeah, I'm talking about could not breathe into something, bitch. Don't scare me like that no more. Let me ask you something though. If you had an ex having an asthma attack, would you at least go see if okay? It depends on the extent of the relationship. I did not breathe at all. But you have a child, but she don't owe you anything else, but. No, nah, she do owe me that. What you talking about? Because I don't have did it for her. At the end of the day, that's his child's mother, and I understand his feelings that he expected her to be there in a situation like that, life or death, duh, dummy. But long as I was there and I did what I had to do, at the end of the day, he really didn't need you. What's the sin of y'all relationship right now? Baby mama, baby daddy, you feel me? You don't deal with her at all as far as with the relationship? I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. Nothing against her, you feel me? She don't know about... <laughs> Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> I mean, oh, I mean, it's not a secret though, right? No. I know she has to be around, you know what I mean? Because of the baby, so I'm just asking, because if I'm dealing with you, I'm going to have to some type of way. I, I, I handle that, you know what I'm saying? Because I would want somebody to handle that right. in the right way with me, so I, right. I'm handling that. I feel like the relationship with Scrappy and Erica is non-existent at this point. It's not working. It was never going to work based on what he told me, and it's just nothing. There's nothing in the future. There's nothing now. It's a wrap. It's done. If I can be happy with you, I'm cool. I'm with it. You can you see me? yourself with me like that? I can see it, but you can see it. but see, it's also that other sis naive side. I don't want to see a lot of that other side that I know about either. But it depends on who you with, too, baby. You gotta get to know me on that level. He's perfect in my eyes for what I want. So are you that don't like it? Eat it and weep. He's mine, biz naive. Hook. <laughs> why you look so cute today? I don't know why you look so sexy. I don't know, but I want to do something. <laughs> you know me. I'm <laughs> I called Erica to my house, cause after visiting my son, I thought we needed a real woman to woman talk about how she treated my son and how she left him for dead. Before I ask you this question, I wanna know how you and Scrappy are doing. We okay? I would believe that, but last week he had an asthma attack mm -hmm. and you went to work and you left him. Because I didn't leave him. You left him. No, I didn't, Because mommy. when I got to the mercy room, mm -hmm. he put the mercy room doctor out. He put friends that were in the room out just to pull me to the side and say, Mama, you know what? She abandoned me. That's what he did. It's not fair that he accused me of abandonment because when I lost our first child, you up and left. You took a flight and got the hell on. And who you leave me with? Your homeboy. I left you with somebody you knew that you were comfortable with and then I made sure that you got to where you needed to go. You're asthmatic, you have asthma attacks. You don't get it when you love somebody, boo. You don't leave them, you shouldn't have left his side. Matter of fact, they shouldn't have took him to the mercy room. You should have took him. It's you not remember? like he was just left at the house by himself. You remember we had a talk a while back about uh -huh. how so unemotionally and uh, disattached that you are. What, what, I mean, what That's why he left the house. Relax. That's my son, boo. I know, but calm down. That's my son, relax. what you mean? Uh, relax. No, I'm relax. not gonna relax. Yes, I can't relax are. when you I are. almost lost my me, son. You, you can't give no advice. It's like two, three failed marriages, several failed relationships. This is what your son sees, so. In, in my eyes, he knows no different. You can talk to me about yeah. it, but you don't yeah, check I'm me. I'm not check your child. No, I'm, I'm not that. your child. No, you are not my child. But you say you don't check me. I do, but you don't check me, baby. And you then you come in with all this. And if you really felt like that, you left him for dead. You left my child for dead. It's over between him and Erica. For her to go to work and leave him for dead, clearly, there's no love. It won't be no love lost. Not when you're messing with mama, son. So, you know, I'm finna go get my wig split, my hair cut, you know. At the same time, I text mom and dudes, let her come by. Holler at me about my little female problems. She usually on point with it, so I'm trying to see what she feel about it. I had a little conversation with Erica. Yo, was to be <laughs> daughter-in-law. And um, me and her had a 
conversation about trying to make it work or get back together, you know what I'm saying? No, the hell you didn't. Oh, that's my baby mama got a kid with the I guess what, I got a kid by your daddy. But when it was over, it was over. Listen, you and my daddy, y'all are two different people. Like, so are you and Erica. Right, you feel wow. me? Wow. You tell me what mama walking around gonna appreciate a woman that walk out from her child when her child I'm gonna stop breathing. You really think I'm feeling that bitch? Mom, don't call her no bitch. I mean, is he money mama? All mm -hmm. right. He gonna tell me he done dipped back in the dip sack saying he tried to give her another chance. He needs to get a new piece of ASS and move on. And yes, she is a bitch. B-I-C-T. H, and in that order. Hmm. After me and Erica decided to call it quits, you know, I just had to go holler at the homie. She's naive, Shay, so I can let her know that it's really, really OV between me and Erica, you feel me? Shay, Shay. And I think I owe some real spit, since she always done been supportive of me, you know, just let her know the real. I had a little uh, conversation with Bad mama Erica, you feel me? To the point where I really was, you know, thinking about, you know, just getting back with her, you feel me? Wait, 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 wait. You can't flip flop between me and that. I asked you if that was over, and you told me that was over. It is. You just bounced over there and you disappeared on me for a week. I mean, I love the girl. Okay. Then why won't you be with her then? I wanted to be with her, you feel me? But it just, we, we, we just two people that, like, we would like for it to happen, but it ain't gonna happen, you feel me? Because we just so far off from each other, you feel me? You f***ing up. You f***ing up real bad right now. That ain't even my intentions, though. It don't matter what your intentions is. I'm supposed to be your friend. And we're supposed to have an honest communication. You just broke that. We have a great communication, so I thought, but at this point, I see a lot of lies, and there's a miscommunication, and, and, and I'm not with it. So he either need to come correct and figure this out, or it's about to be a problem. How you really feel about me? I love you, you feel me? And yeah, you showing that by what you doing, your actions, what you just did with love. <clears throat> well, I put it like this. Like, it ain't even, like, trying to hurt nobody's feelings or nothing like that intentionally. What you think this is? You think I'm good right now? You think it's sweet? My third eye is so open on your ass right now. You ain't the only one that can be hurt, boo. And that that happened in the past, you can't bring that into what we got right here. You playing with me now just like this bitch was playing with you. At the end of the day, I told you I love you. I would like to see, you know, what we could do. I ain't trying to jump off the cliff with it, because I don't want to see you hurting. You feel me? And I don't want to be hurting. You, you hurt my little feelings. It's cool. I bounce back, I always do. But you hurt my little feelings. Yeah. I don't know what to say, you know. I'm, I'm definitely sorry. I definitely didn't mean to hurt your feelings, you feel me? I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. to your story, I just needed to lighten up the moment really quickly. We saw you go back and forth. You pretty much expressed to Shay before she left that you were sorry for the way that you had treated her and that you definitely do want to be with Erica, you said? Yeah. All right. Anything you want to say I mean, to Erica right now? Definitely. Well, basically, you know, like, you done been there with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done been there with all my teeth knocked out my mouth and ain't nobody called me, nobody give me no bread or nothing. You was in there. You know what I'm saying? When I was in all them dentist appointments, I had to get my face reconstructed, you feel me? All that, like you was right there. The other little situation happened with old girl, you was right there again. Yeah, I'm talking about I called crying like like a baby, and you still, you ain't laugh, you ain't do nothing. So, no, I wanted to. I yeah, did. I know you did. <laughs> but I respect you listening to me, and I love you so much. So I'm gonna prove to you that I am gonna be the man that you wanna be with. You cool with that, mama? I am the queen. I will be sitting on my throne until that point in time in which you come to me and say that you want to take her hand and I'll be watching, hovering over, <laughs> and waiting. Well, look, mom, feel like you ain't got to hover too long.
You don't have no more words out of scrappy messing with nobody else. I'm done. I want to be a man. I want to be a man. I want to have my family back. You feel what I'm saying? If it don't work, it's cool. But is you going to marry a yeah. Hold on, hold on. My name is Rashida. I am a female underground hip hop entertainer representing the ATL shop. I've been married for 12 years to my sexy Godav, or chocolate husband. His name is Kirk, and we have an 11 year old. His name is Kai, that's my little G. And I have four stepchildren. I got my own house, I got my own car. I'm a superstar. I've been signed to major record labels like Motown and Jive Records, but they never understood me as an artist, so we decided to go independent, and to be honest with you, it's been working for me ever since. Being an independent artist really takes twice the work, and it's really hard when you're a wife and a mother. Chick, so that means I rock with the best. What are we working on today? Trying to figure out which one of these singles we'll start off with. I'm still going through the numbers trying to stick to research. I'm Kirk, I'm Rashida's husband and her manager. Today we picking which single we're gonna release first. How's my record looking? Legs to the Moon is excellent. The Marry Me record is excellent. So are we gonna set those up for the videos? What are we gonna do? We gonna, we gonna run it or what you wanna do? Rashida's about to go straight down the middle mainstream but hood and it's gonna be Crazy. She has everything that's missing in the game right now, and I think it's about to be an explosion to the rap game. I've been thinking about this Marry Me record, and I really, really feel like we need to do a real video and really step everything up, meaning real director, real production, better cameras, more than one camera, you know what I'm saying? Like a total concept storyboard, the whole shebang. I'm gonna give Rashida what she want, but at the same time, she's gonna do it my way. I need Rashida to be 100 on this video. Sometimes she's just prone to just phoning in, not being 100, not being focused, so I need to be right there. Where is this girl at? A lot is at stake. This video is actually the setup to the Boss Chick album. This is what you're gonna see first, so this has to happen the right way. Okay. Why are you so late? What the f is the problem? What you mean, why am I late? You're two hours late. You're supposed to have been here at 11. <laughs> this costs money, so we're gonna be spending more money being here for another two hours. Like, why are you late? What is the issue? I'm here, but I'm really not here. And me and you ain't here, okay? You know where I was at? Picking up the last little bit of the clothes, being that I don't have a stylist, and I have to style myself. So do what a motherfucking record label's supposed to do. How about that? First, he cut the stylist from the budget and then yelled at me for being the artist and the stylist, and I'm doing two jobs. Hmm. <laughs> Rashida, baby. After a whole lot of hard work, the Marry Me video is ready and I'm gonna unveil it and I'm just excited and wanna see just, uh, I'm hoping for a whole lot of success on this. <laughs> My this, girl. Uh-uh. Girl, it's pretty in here. It's, it's kinda dead. promised me that this lunch party was gonna be off the chain. He had everything under control. I didn't have nothing to worry about and this party was gonna be packed. But guess what? It ain't. You was telling me, hold tight, I got, this is what we gonna do, this is what we gonna do. I guess I should have been involved in order for it to make okay, it so turn out right. so you think I'm supposed because to hold people in and bring them in here? People are gonna be no, there. No, but what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to oversee yourself and everybody who's supposed to be helping you okay, put this together to so that Greg ultimately it could be, be a good here. look. Why is it always gotta be something? Come on, man, tighten up. You got them smirking. Listen, I don't think this is funny. I don't have time for this today. I'm never making you happy. I'm never doing enough. I'm breaking my neck here. Is it, what do you want from me? Ladies and gentlemen, 
ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Oh, y'all make me feel so special. Everybody looks so sexy. I appreciate everybody for coming out for the launch of my new project. Frost and I wanted to try something different with the project and basically just kind of showcase the new video, which is my new single. It's called Marry Me. And we're going to play it right about now. So ladies and gentlemen, here's my new video and my new single, Marry Me. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 hey. This Monica's not gonna work. No, we're gonna have to. Uh, that mic needs to turn around. I am so sorry about the technical difficulties. Sometimes my team just be slipping. The video is gonna be playing back here on this screen, so if you guys don't mind, if you could turn around and watch it from this screen right here, I would greatly appreciate it. I went and talked to Deb without Kirk. And to be honest with you, he wasn't feeling that shit at all. But he did decide to go in with me and him together and go talk to her. I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out either, but I'm hoping for the best. Hi. Hi. What's up, how are you? It really hurt my feelings that Rashida went behind my back. But at the end of the day, I feel like it's really all about the business and I gotta be a professional. So I'm willing to sit down with Deb to see what she can do for Rashida and her career. I just wanted to bring the meeting together for everybody to know each other and see if we can make something work. OK, so before I even run my mouth, Kirk, what, what did you feel about that? I didn't feel the idea of her coming meeting without letting me know. That's a problem, because she's not able to make her own decisions. It ain't about her making her own decision, neither. It's about, at the end of the day, I'm your partner. That's you're, true. You're my wife, so mm -hmm. business-wise, she got to let me know. Rashida and I have always done business together. We've always agreed together. We've never done nothing behind each other's back. And as I get in the meeting, I'm already just looking like, OK, Rashida has somehow already made up her mind. So I'm really sitting there like, what am I even doing here? I happen to think Rashida's a very talented person. But I've just never seen her get anywhere. I watched her climb, and I watched her decline. And she kept going down. In the talking, there was a common denominator, and D-Lo happened to be the common denominator between each label that was done. So what made everybody else wrong and D-Lo not? First off, Rashida sells more records today than she's ever sold in her entire career. So for Rashida to be here from 90 to 2012 and be one of the hottest underground female rappers in the game, D-Lo is the reason why Rashida sits here today. That's some sick ass right now. You have to look at this. You're not acknowledging the part that you're playing in this. Really? Because you're making it seem like everybody got a problem but you. God damn, I'd have got I kicked I, in my ass a hundred times. I don't mind saying I'd have did a whole take, bunch of stuff. I, I'm not I don't sit there and keep talking about it's it. Not, none of my fault. I don't care. I'm, I'm cool Sweet with that. Like this ain't about fault. This is about growth. It's about moving forward. It's about coming from under the ground. She's dirty. She's stinking. She want to come up for air. God damn. I'm the arch enemy. Everybody is just going in on me and what I haven't done and you this and you the reason. I'm feeling like, yo, do you know what I do for her? Are you serious? Emotionally, it kind of hurt my feelings, but you know, women gonna be women. Listen, Kurt, you know damn well it's time for us to separate some You know it's time for us to make some other happen in order for us to go where we need to go. We need to get focused. We need to let business be business and let personal, because that is affecting us in a lot of ways that it should not be right now. That's the reality of what's going on. And I'm gonna leave that door again open for you, Rashida. You know, and then still then, I would still like to go in the studio and still like to see what's there. But I would like to go in without Kurt. We need some chill action, don't we? Uh, yeah, like a vacation. It's been a little crazy since him and I met with Deb and just trying to figure out exactly what to do career-wise and, and management-wise. And after thinking about it and him and I talking about it and going through everything, I think I've come to my decision. I don't want to ever make you feel like you ever have to question my loyalty to you, my love for you, my anything. I don't want to do that. 
So I don't think that the Deb decision is something that I want to do right now. I mean, to be honest with you, I just feel like, you know, it's been me and you, let's keep, let's keep this thing going. At the end of the day, I just look at it like, it's all about me and him. I just want to make him and I happy and do what we need to do to take it to the top together. I'm always on grind mode and not focusing on what I need to be focused on, which is me and you. So I was thinking, do you think you would want to renew our vows? You know, but look, nothing <laughs> big, just oh. something really small with the kids, and just, you know, give ourselves a little, a little thrust. <laughs> 12 years ago, we just ran off to Vegas, decided we wanted to get married. It was just me and him, and it was just something really small and cute. But this time, I think I want to, you know, involve the close family and friends, renew our vows, and I want him to understand that our love is solid and I want it to stay solid. But first, we gonna enjoy each other tonight because I got on some cute <laughs> under this dress. Mm. Right. I don't wanna see it. No, yeah. you don't need to have on nothing. There you go. Exactly. Let's get the hell on. Let's tell us first. Till death do us part. <laughs> This ride has been crazy. I have been a bitch to my man. <laughs> but, you know, love conquers all over here in Frostland. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, we've assembled ourselves together here today so that this man and this woman can renew the vows they made to each other 12 years ago. Our love has stood taller than any building as high as any plane can go, and I just want us to continue to love each other unconditionally, and everything else can fall through the wayside. Do you promise to renew the vows which you made when you first united in marriage 12 years ago? I do. Mm -hmm. And now pronounce you recommitted to each other for life. You may now salute your bride. Me and Rashida are definitely having our mojo swing right now because we're like in love like the beginning again and it's a great feeling and I'm like, yo, I'm not trying to lose this. I gotta keep this. So 12 more years and 12 more and yes. 12 more. <laughs> I may not be mainstream yet, but baby, sky's the limit. Your girl is on the way. So why does it My name is Kay Michelle. I'm a singer. I'm a single mother. I am a pianist. And I rock out with my cap. This song is very important. Like, we all been heartbroken, and you know how y'all men do, so. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you sit in here and beat up on men. I feel what you're saying, though. <laughs> we need that breakup record. I recently got out of a nasty relationship that affected my music career. But now I'm on my way back up, and I'm using my music to tell my story. After my showcase, I went to go visit Arian. That's my girl, and I know she's gonna keep it real with me. <laughs> I wanted to get her true opinion on the showcase. I think you were amazing. I should've dropped it a little bit. Like, no. I said, really? I'm up there singing for her life, and <laughs> Girl, it is for my life. You did good. You did good. I was proud of you. No, but out of all the good stuff, mm -hmm. I wanted to give you the, the real tea on a situation that's bothering me. With who? Carly. She walks up to Beacox, my producer, and say, you know, I want to work with you or whatever, but you messing with the wrong artist. You came in my event with my people, and you be on some bull crap like that? You told my producer that he signed the wrong artist. Honey, last time I checked, people ain't throwing out record deals to 50-year-old aspiring artists without even a Wikipedia page. You 50, you need to be prepared for retirement or something, but you worried about me. I don't understand Carly at all. Like it was like to hurt your feelings, to hurt Mimi's feelings. It was it was Mimi. Just... 
some girl who used to with Stevie, I guess. I don't know, she was there. And she kind of like pointed it out. So I'm still sitting in the middle like, what the f is what wrong with this girl? What did she say to me? I don't remember verbatim, but I just know it was to the point where it pissed Mimi off. Like, it got to her. I want Mimi to get out and have a good time, but when you disrespect family, friends, business, I feel like any it was very that, disrespectful of her. It is very. disrespectful. I hope somebody give her some kind of job, the National Enquirer, or somebody give her a check, because she's in everybody's business but her own. And she got enough business. She walking around here with a deflated ass cheek. She should deal with that first. This girl really is a piece of work. That girl came to be messy, messy, At the end, messy. Though. Her face is messy, her clothes are messy, her jewelry is messy, her attitude is messy, her ass is wopsided and messy. What you are not gonna do is bring all that f***ery around me. If you keep on doing something to me, I'm gonna see you for it. And that's me. I am over Carly. I sat there on my birthday and saw that girl hurt your feelings and hurt you. Then, my showcase. Again. That's another time where I'm trying to have everybody right. just being happy, no stress. Who brought the drama? Besides Stevie, <laughs> this tropical bird has the nerve to go and tell my producer, you messing with the wrong artist. You'll see. I'm tired of the disrespect. She's too old for that. Senior citizens should not act like that. When I see Carly, it's a problem. So you could call her and tell her, I need to see her. Girl, she already down. You ain't have to call that far. I called her here just so we can get it on the table. Because I know you got a few things you want to say to Absolutely. her. Absolutely. She got some issues. I got a couple issues with her. As long as she don't get in the way of my good cocktail <laughs> and my macaroni and cheese, because that's why I came here. But Have I'm going to say what time. I need to say to her. Absolutely. Hey, Miss mm. Red. How are you? I'm wonderful. And Hi, yourself? Baby. Hi, boo. You look cute. Thank you. Uh, I do not come in love. <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> What's the deal? Girl, you look like you was gonna go to, to a red carpet on the Grammys, but the knockoff one. It's not a good day to hate, trust me. I will never trust a woman with a, a rhinestone snake around her neck. You can't trust no woman like that. So what's up, mama? It's just been a few things that have been said. The first time I saw you, you didn't know the situation. You had no idea. Second time I saw you, you were sitting at the table at her listening party and you telling me about this woman. And she, because every time I get to you, Ariam is an Aria, Ariam, whatever her name Arian. is. Arian. You don't know that girl name. That's my Arian. friend. Arian. Kim Schultz, I'm telling you. You want to take shots? I'm going to take shots back. We could take shots all day. You ain't telling me nothing. And you Got are jealous of me because of what? Why would I be jealous? You old as sh You, you look like a like 40 why. year old aspiring single without a Wikipedia you like page. The, you look like the boy of my shoe. Say, I got I'm more shit under my belt than you will ever have. Because you old and enough, bitch. Psycho. You're 40. Look at you. You got you one deflated me. ass cheek. It's, it's, it's not working. It's not working. It's not working. It's not working. It doesn't have to work. The bitch is crazy. She's psycho. That's why they put mental people in stray jackets. Bring it down, because my head will start spinning. I'll chop I you on your trick. Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it. F with me if you want to. It's not a good Ooh. day. OK? Now this back to the one. This bitch is shaking the table. <laughs> Don't shake unless you are ready to get shook. You have jealous. no receipts. You're very jealous. You f everybody you in the industry. You have you no so receipts. OK, you I mean, you gonna lie? Now, don't well, make up no hey, on me, bitch. Hey, don't hey, you make, hey, don't hey, you hey, ever hey, lie on me. Hey. Don't violate me. I've been through too much. I'm nobody's punk. Run far away, cause you're a Every I time I see you, every I time like I her. see you, every time I see you. So let's jump right in and start. Amanda L from Facebook wants to know, Carly, how old are you really? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wants to know how old Carly is. Look, I'm beautiful, I'm young, I'm talented. I never tell my age. Okay, so anybody want to take a guess on how old Carly is? <laughs> 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 50, I look 40. I look 
on Wikipedia page a couple days ago. It says 1985. Hey, Michelle, you're the same age as me, so yeah. stop it. Ooh. Ooh. We all know Carly Rae. She gets to shouting out stuff because she don't want her truth to be told. The truth of the situation is she marched with Martin Luther King in 1968. But you know, Mimi don't it's lie about her age. If you was born in 1985, bitch, you was 14 in LA. Bitch, well, you look like it don't matter, bitch. You look like Michael Jackson in Thrill. Oh, 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 get the Jack Daniels for this hoe, cause she needs it. That's for me. But your child is older than me. We'll get to all of that. Bitch, your neck is wrinkled. Oh, come on now. That's your neck. Bitch, you old. It don't matter. Bitch, you got a rip in your. You got no walls. You got no walls. Bitch, no got receipts. I'm tired of this old ass Harriet Tubman bitch. Right, it's getting a little too heated in here. The last three years were really crazy for me. I got out of a record deal, I lost the love of my life, and I lost a lot of friends in the process. So over the past couple of weeks, I've been meeting with some friends to reconnect. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. you look beautiful. Today, I'm catching up with Rashida, who is a fellow artist. Are you still on job? I have gone through, I think, the longest battle trying to get off of the label. Really? I was signed to Jive Records to a guy who was from my hometown. He was gorgeous. I mean, he had huge arms, tattoos, and he gave me my dream that I always wanted, and that was a record deal. About six months later, we started to date, and um, it wasn't a bad relationship until one day he flipped, and he beat my ass. All I can remember is just screaming, saying, it's me. Like, it's me, I love you, it's me, Kay, it's me. He wasn't there. People behind the scenes, from the record label to everywhere, they knew the truth. When business is involved, no one care if you hurt. Everybody wants you to sing. Shut up and make the money. He bought chains, rings, everything out of my recording budget. It's over $2 million with nothing to show for it. No album, no music, no anything. So you got your fans like, where's the music? Oh, she's a flop, what's going on? Don't nobody know. Nobody understands. So I'm caught in the middle right now, you know, working with new people. I still have to fight down this stereotype that K. Michelle is outright crazy. Me and my girl Rashida, we link up. We finna go support our girl K. She's doing a performance piece for a nonprofit organization called Saving Our Daughters. So this, what we going to is the Saving Our Daughters. Thing, right? Uh -huh. She's going to um, speak to some young girls and talk about her experience with domestic violence and just try to teach them something, hoping they can relate and learn from the situation. You know, with, with talking to Kay and stuff about that situation and stuff, I want to see her grow and get to a better place, but I just feel a little funny, like, to be honest with you. Why do you feel funny? Because, like, the guy she's referring to is married to one of my close, close friends. And it's like, when me and Kay sit down and we talk and stuff, she brings it up a lot. And I don't really want to talk about it. I feel like I'm in a difficult situation because I feel like, is it a loyalty card I'm playing with my friends I've had for years? Am I being wrong for not being sensitive to Kay's situation? I'm kind of stuck. It's so crazy to me because he's like, that didn't happen. First of all, girl, it was years ago. Whatever the situation was, their relationship was. This is something that Kate does need to move forward from. She know? does. So this is good. Like, and that's why I want to support this her. Is good yeah. in a sense because she has to. You know, what, what's what's the next thing after this? That's why I'm like, look, let's definitely go support. Hold her down. You know, I'm not going to talk about none of that. You right. know what I'm saying? I really just had this conversation with you, but she and I eventually will have the conversation. Need to. We do, but just not today. Let's just, you know, go check be out, supportive. be supportive, hold her down, and, you know, and, and she and I can talk about this later. You know? Let's go from there. Have, have a bag right now. Definitely. Kay Michelle wanted to meet up and talk to me about 
the performance she had the other day with the Saving Our Daughters. And I'm gonna keep it real, I've been dreading this whole little situation right here. I mean, those are my friends, my real friends that she's talking about. And she and I are trying to develop a relationship, so it puts me in a really, really funny place that I don't wanna be in. Right before I got on stage, you know, I got a tweet, and it was him. And the tweet was like, you know, I bought you teeth or I bought you this, you know, I made you. After I read that, everything, you know, took over. And for me not to spaz out against him, that's a little bit of growth. So I just thank you for not taking sides in the situation. You know, I don't know. I just feel like it could be just handled different. If you can say those type of things towards me without saying I'm sorry, but it if still he says affects he's sorry, me. then what, what, where does that put you? Does that take you to another place? You I know mean, what it do does? You, it at mean? least it at least makes me feel like there is some good. Maybe he's not doing that because that's not something that he did to you. Rashida, he did that to me. I had scars all on my leg, carpet burns from fighting. How would you feel if a towel was over your face? Smothered. He needs to apologize. I have every text message when you tried to say you was So if I was an evil chick, I would send that to a blog right now. I ain't done it. But if you keep on, I am. So you need to take your ass on down the street because you wasn't there. Three years, my career was ruined because I could not talk. I don't have that no more. I don't care what nobody got to say about me. Cause that's my shit. None of y'all was there. None of y'all. This shit is still is with me. I got my ass beat. And I gotta explain to the world what the fuck happened to me. What happened to saying I'm sorry that happened to you? That man beat my ass and I had to deal with that. So I don't give a fuck what nobody think about nothing I got going on. You know what, to be honest with you, it ain't got nothing to do with me, but at the end of the day, I don't know if I believe Kate Michelle. Okay. Oh, wow. Thank you. Regardless of anything, for three years, I've been helping women who went through domestic violence. So regardless of how crazy K. Michelle is or how I act, I don't say I act right. I don't always act right. I never have said I was this picture-perfect woman. What I said was, what happened to me is what happened to me. And Rashida, you don't have to believe it, but you sure sat there every episode getting your check. Damn Listen straight. To, you sure did, did what it was. You sure cried at everything you with me in my hand. But when the first episode came out and it got tough, you got to run it. Oh, I ain't run. Yes, you did. Oh, no, it tough. No, I didn't. When run. it got tough, the boss left, and we went to oh, Sweet Valley High. Oh, you want to say the boss left? The boss left. We ain't got me. to. First of all, this not a Twitter saying her name. Please hold tell me. Scarecrow to shut up. You be quiet for a minute. Let me say something. Well, Ain't I'm nobody talking... leave. You know what? Because to I be honest to with you, no, no, I'm not no we can sit I up. I got you. I'm just talking. We, we women. We yeah, we are women. But let me say this. I had to put two and two together and say, huh, something don't make no damn sense. What don't make... How I get out a $2 million record deal on okay, everything? They didn't here. let me go. Listen. Like they let you go on yours. They, they didn't, didn't let oh, me go. Oh, bitch, they didn't let me they go. Did, they didn't let me they go. Let me I go. had I to left. get out of mine. I left. I had let to get out of mine. I left. So it, let's keep that You're clear. straddling the fence, Rashida. Oh, when it got I, tough, oh, I really? listened to you. Oh, I listened about your the marriage. Fence? I watched you disrespect your husband on TV. I ain't TV. disrespect my I husband. Let me tell you something. A husband is something you want, something I have, okay? Let's keep that clear. Ain't nobody going to marry no crazy ass bitch. But you about to lose them disrespecting them on TV. Oh, I ain't going to lose That's all I'm saying. Please believe that. That man you described you want you is that man, my and you story, not gonna get him. It's my story. Yeah, and that's you a lie. You get done. Wow, Rashida. Yeah, wow. Wow. You came to my bitch. wow. You I didn't my want ass. to. Do what you do. Do something with your nappy done, ass Rashida, hair, you bipolar, schizophrenic, you. insecure when you get done, ass bitch. Bags on your yeah, ass. let me have my. Believe her ass? Chill, just chill. Do anybody else believe that dumbass hoe? Ask that question. Do anybody else believe this bitch? Yeah, they ain't seen me like this. Gonna try to calm things down with the break. We'll be back. Hey, I'ma call you back. Hey. Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. Hey, Dub, you wanna excuse me for a second? Hey. Hi. How are you? Good. 
Carly. So, Zeno, <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. My name is Ben Zeno. A lot of y'all probably know me as the former owner of The Source magazine. I had songs out, Booty Rock the Party, a lot of stuff. But now I own Hip Hop Weekly. Yeah, I seen you in there. You're incredibly beautiful. Thank you. I saw you on stage with Stevie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing a thing like the bear thing. Really? You know what I'm yeah. Okay. Are you, are you from here? I'm from Trinidad. You're from Trinidad? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Man, that's why you're so beautiful. Thank you. got you. that exotic thing going on. Thank you. <laughs> See, now, got it. On stage, I put two and two together, and just right away, there was a vibe, there was a connection. It's for some, I, I, feel, I felt it. <laughs> you're gorgeous. I'm, I, Thank I, you. I, do you have a man? I'm sure you probably got some money. <laughs> No, I'm no. totally single. What about you? No, no, I don't have anybody. Come on now, No, for real. No, don't, no, don't make me blush, <laughs> definitely. No, I'm single. Antonio and I split up a while back. It wasn't a bad breakup. We just didn't have much in common. We're gonna remain friends, and I'm totally ready to play the field again. Think maybe I, I could, you know, we could go out or something? Take you out? I would love that. Really? Is that an invite? Yeah, of course, <laughs> if, you know, if you would like to. Yeah. I would love to. Well, maybe we could exchange numbers. Absolutely, let me get your number. Yep. He definitely makes me nervous. Benzino has a certain swag that I like. He's definitely my type. I guess I'll be waiting for your call. Okay, I'll text you. Yeah, it was great meeting you. Nice You're to meet you gorgeous, too. Man. Thank you. All right. <laughs> you make me nervous, Kyle. <laughs> Take care, Carly. All right. Bye. Bye. spending almost every night at Benzino's house. He may be cold as far as Malcolm's concerned, but at the house, it's very hot and steamy. Wow, babe. Yeah. You didn't have to. I wanted to. You sleep good? So, got a little something else on the tray for you. Really? Yeah. Yeah. A key? Yeah. You got me a key to the house? It's a crib, yeah, you know, mi casa su casa. You know Are we saying? ready for this? What you mean? I thought, I mean, I thought we was. It comes to a point in a man's life where you feel like, wow, this right here really could be it. She's beautiful, she's talented. And you know, I'm not getting no younger, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how long, you know, all these good looks is gonna last, you know? So I felt like I want to speed the process up, you know what I'm saying? What's the matter? I had a talk with Malcolm. He suggested that, you know, I needed to stay hot. And, you know, Benzino's a little cold. Benzino's cold? Listen, he got, he's just giving me some advice about what his artist should do. What does that got to do with us? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like we're not in Because industry. if I'm rocking thought... with you, you're gonna be in with me in the industry. Not everything's about the industry. If you wanna let them guide your life and everything has to be hot and cold or whatever, they need to get you a hit mother record. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not like you so mother hot yourself either. So after Carly told me that she didn't make a choice and she was gonna rock with me, you know, I decided to take her somewhere nice and just to get away and like forget about the whole career thing and just sit down and kick it. So I wanna get some sangria. Sangria? You like sangria? I love sangria. Really? It does something to me. Makes you horny? <laughs> How do you know? For real? It's, it is. We gotta get gallons of that. <laughs> so you really like the photo shoot? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for hooking that up for me, babe. And then especially Vince, you know, I kind of like want to follow your lead. You're, you're my man. Oh, you two were? Yeah. Oh, OK, because sometimes I feel like everything revolves around Carly Red and her career. I don't support you with your career? Everything's been revolved around you since I don't feel since like met. it is. I feel like it's really about your ego. My ego? Oh, Hell come yeah. on. Benzino been acting really weird lately. I don't think he got over my manager calling him Cole. There's nothing I could do about it. Let's just forget about all that. You know, it's not why I brought you here. Baby, my career means so much to me. I worked so hard for it. And I don't want you to feel like... No, your career is <laughs> important to you. OK, as long as you knew that from the beginning. You eat, drink, sleep, text, but and wow, career. You the, know what I'm the saying? The one like, girl who's really focused, like, that's really a bad thing. I love Carly. 
but it seems like she can't talk about nothing other than her career. I mean, this is the girl that I want to spend the rest of my life with. You know that ring I bought? It's starting to feel real heavy in my pocket right now. Yo, what's good, fellas? Hey, what up, Z? Hey, what's going on? Hey. What up, Z? Hey. Carly and Z, they're headed toward the chapel right now. I'm a little nervous now, because I don't want to see him backtrack or go through no extra drama to set him back. We moving up. We moving forward. So what's good with you, my G? Been good, you know what I'm saying? Just, just been contemplating, you know what I'm saying? Contemplating what? You know, about Lil Mama. The thing thing? Thing thing. I got a big decision to make. Whether or not to give Carly the ring and take our relationship to the next level or just move on. I've spent a lot of time thinking about this moment. Tonight's the night I'm gonna ask Carly Red if she would spend the rest of her life with me. It just comes a time in every man's life that it's time to step it up. This is the woman that I want to be with. This is the woman that I feel for. When you're with somebody that you really feel like this is it, it's like you're going to open your emotions and your feelings up. You're going to take your guards down. Well, here goes everything. Hey. How you doing? I'm good. You look nice. My situation with Zeno has gotten a little bit complicated. I moved out the house, and we don't talk like we used to. Right now, I'm interested to hear what he has to say for himself. You know, I care about you and I love you. I know, like, I can be jealous. I know that. And, you know, I know, like, my temper probably flares up because of that, you know, but there's, like, nothing I wouldn't do for you. But you know that I definitely, definitely, sincerely, you know, fell for you. I have my doubts. I have my doubts. You know, if there was any doubts, I wouldn't have did that. I've had this for a while now. What are you saying? I mean, if you doubt that I love you, I'm trying to say that, does this show any doubt? Are you ready for that? Are you ready? I'm not ready. The first thing she says, I doubt that you love me. I don't know how she can have doubts in me. I I did everything I could to show her that I loved her. So right then and there showed me. And I just looked in her eyes and I just, I couldn't do it. I don't want this, you know what I'm saying, to be any more hard Why on me as it is. Why would you come and bring me a ring and then you don't even give it to me? I've Who does that? Nah, you up. But Zeno is a mother ass Who the brings a ring and then snatches that back? Who does that? You know what? You. You could use me, right? I'm not using you. you I can't love abuse you. Me. You feel me? Me getting with you, Benzino, was a good look for you. Because I put you on. Because if you didn't get with me, you wouldn't be the you are now. That's it. We ain't rocking no more. Carly said she had her doubts. But in the end, Zeno had his too. Men of Mondays is back, that's right. And just in case you miss it at any point on Monday nights, all you gotta do is check out Love & Hip Hop's YouTube page.